Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Bundy. Thank you so much for joining us on this video where we are going to be going through this setup of the Tangem wallet on your phone. So I've got two cards in front of me here, blank cards as if I've just received them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start my screen record on my phone and we're going to get down to business. Okay, so first up, as I said, you need a minimum of two cards. Um, you can use obviously the three cards from the three card pack to do this as well, which will give you two backups. Uh, and we're going to create a wallet. There is an option to create a wallet using the seed phrase, but in this exercise, we are going to create the wallet, the tangent way, which is seedless. And so uh, first up, we scanned the first card. Now we're scanning the second card. And we, if you do have a third card, then you hit that add a backup card. In this instance, I don't, I've only got two cards in front of me, so I'm going to finalize the backup, hit continue. Now, this is where you create your access code. This can be digits, can be password, it can be whatever you want. However, you need to make sure that you remember this because if you do forget it, it's not good. Um, one of the features that Tangem does have is that you can use your um, second card as uh, essentially as a replacement to a pin uh, or your passcode. Um, so as a security measure, you never leave these two cards in the same location and you make sure that they're secure. Okay, so I'm just going to create a really simple passcode. Now what you then do is you scan the card again. Now what this is doing, this is finalizing the setup of the card and it is writing your pin code to that card or your passcode to the code or to the card, which means that you can take this card to another device. Um, let's say you put your, your mobile phone in the in the drink. Um, it's a dead phone. You can then set up your tangent wallet again and using the card by using the access code that you have. So everything is stored on this card now. It's got no, nothing is stored actually on your phone, um, even though you're using your phone as the in-between mechanism um, or the bridge between your card and blockchain. Okay, there we are. We have successfully set up our, our wallet on our phone. Um, now, I just want to show you there are a couple of things you can do here. So let's say you wanted to change your PIN code or your access code on your cards. You hit the, that menu button up the top there, which is your uh, the three dots, and select card settings and then scan card. We scan the card that we want to change our PIN code on and select continue. We then need to scan it again. And then in here, you have changed your access code. Okay, so let's select that. Now to change the access code, select the card and hold it on. And there we are. That has changed the access code, even though I've done it to the same code, I have changed the access code on this card. Now, bear in mind that if you do change your access code on one of the cards, it doesn't change on the other card. Um, so if you do that, you now have two cards with two different access codes on those cards. Um, now, what I am going to show you is if I actually go out of here, um, open up the Tangem app, uh, now let's scan a card and let's pretend I've forgotten my access codes. You can select forgot your access code. Now I'm just going to create it with the same access code and select continue. Now what you then do, you need to scan the card again that you want to restore it to. It takes 15 seconds, obviously, as we can see here. It's doing the long tap. So what it's doing here is it's doing some security checks, etc., on on the card and and in in the app. Um, it isn't actually writing the access code to the card at the moment the change, 
because it needs to go through and verify using the other card. So you now need to tap, as you can see on the screen here, you need to tap the backup card. Again, you, you do a long tap. And as I said, what it's doing here is it's just doing checks. And now you need to go back to the card that you have forgotten your pin with. And there we are. The reset has been successful. Okay, so that is a way that you can obviously use your second card to reset the pin codes if you've forgotten these pin codes and get access to your wallet. So that hope shows you, or hopefully shows you that you need to protect these, these cards and the reason why you need these two cards stored in separate locations. If someone gets access to these two cards, they have access to your wallet. Now you can disable that feature back in that menu button, menu um, under the, the card settings. However, I don't recommend you do change that or disable it um, because it is a security feature that obviously Tangem have built in. Um, and the last thing you want is to lose access to your wallet. So the key is, is you make sure you store these in a secure location, um, like a bank vault or a security deposit box. Um, and you know, at least, you know, if you've got two cards, store at least one of them in that type of environment, uh, which means that you can always go and get it if you need to, but definitely don't keep them in the same location. Excellent guys. Thanks for joining me on this video. I hope it helps you in your setup of your Tangem uh, wallet. And I do want to mention one other thing on this solution is it can you can only set up one wallet or on-chain wallet per card. Um, you can have, have, you know, I think there's 37 chains that it actually connects to. Um, so you can have one wallet on each of those chains per card. Um, so it's just uh, one of the limitations of this solution um, so it's something to just bear in mind that you can't have multiple wallets excellent as i said thanks for joining me and i hope you have a fantastic week and i look forward to seeing you on future videos cheers